Hello, I'm Danny Bills, Curator of Collections and Exhibitions at the Wichita Falls Museum of Art at MSU Texas. This video is a deeper exploration into the WFMA exhibition, Visual Voice, unveiling a new acquisition to the permanent collection. Visual Voice is a written record word program that considers art on view in the galleries from multiple perspectives. Visual Voice lives online as a blog and in the galleries with the artwork, encouraging audiences to learn about an artwork at their own pace and then see it in person where it can be truly felt. In this exhibition, the WFMA unveils a new acquisition to the permanent collection, a lithograph by artist Cedric Huckabee, titled American Dad. This piece was purchased last fall by the WFMA Collector Circle, a group of community members whose financial contributions make possible purchases of art. Cedric Huckabee, an artist who lives and works in Fort Worth, is known for using thick paint, called impasto, in the creation of large-scale portraits and works about traditional quilts. The artist's subjects come from his life, and he says, are intended to glorify everyday people. This print captures that large portrait thick painting feeling seen in his paintings. Huckabee's themes of faith, family, community, and heritage come from the essence of human relationships and in various ways invite everyone into communication with his art. Huckabee states, I believe my paintings are done in a language more closely in tune with my soul than the language of my tongue. Surrounding Huckabee's print are other works from the collection that weave a story around the new acquisition. Romare Bearden is a 20th century artist whose powerful artistic career significantly shapes American art history. Both Bearden and Huckabee choose the people in their lives as their subjects. Ron Adams' self-portrait in the printmaking studio invites us to consider the relationship between artist and master printmaker, such as when a painter makes a fine art print like American Dad. Last fall at the museum, more than 200 MSU students studied Renee Stout's piece Recurring Dambala Dream, demonstrating what happens with art accession to the WFMA permanent collection. It impacts learning and lives. Learn about these works through the voices here and add your voice to share with others. It's bad enough just going through life as a regular human being, dealing with one's ups and downs, dignities and insecurities. But when you're an American dad who happens to be black in America, it can wear the most resilient soul down like water to rock. Not only must I carry on for my family, I have to internalize my anguish and pain. I thought just using my mind was enough. It's not. It's come with a cost. Most days I can wear the mask. Today, I cannot wear the mask and it shows. Adams compellingly poses himself with a sure grip around his printing roller as Vermeer-like light falls across his brow. My friend and colleague Valperi Remling is master printer at the famed Tamarind Institute of Lithography in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Valperi says her heart and soul focus is printing for others. Her job is to feed the artist the possibilities in printmaking and help the artist find the best mark to express desired ideas. In the Garden demonstrates a graphic approach to art making with bold shapes and an emphasis on texture contrasts. Viewers may recall other great 20th century African American artists, Jacob Lawrence and William Henry Johnson, whose styles and approaches to painting resemble that of Bearden. The work has been interpreted as an African-American Eve in the Garden of Eden with a specific cultural twist because the artist portrays a woman from Southern healing traditions surrounded by curative materials. In short, faces and titles carry a lot of weight and responsibility. An empathetic look or a knowing smile can go a long way in bridging gaps we once thought unbridgeable. Likewise, a title can invite us in like a loving embrace and a warm cup of cocoa. It all depends on what each side brings to the conversation, to the communion. After all, artworks and faces are the outer manifestations of our most private and public thoughts and feelings. Or, if you prefer, they are the outer manifestations of the depths of our souls. The dad in this artwork prompts me to look at my own backstory. As a black American viewer, I see my dad and black men in general in this piece. In his eyes and facial expressions, I see all these feelings that make me uneasy. The fact that he's portrayed in black and white further illustrates the intensity of the subject. 
This is why I skipped past this artwork on the first look, but it's also the reason I came back to it, to examine my own history along that with what Cedric is portraying. Cedric Huckabee's American Dad, along with other pieces mentioned in the video, will be on view through April 16th. I encourage you to come and see all the exhibit has to offer in person. Thank you.